that footage of the river landing. Woo! Man, whose idea was it to put a steel cable up across this river? It was less than a half an hour before sunset. I was doing a foot drag up the river when out of nowhere I came to a screeching stop and submerged in the water. I never seen the cable and had zero time to think about hitting it. One minute I was flying, the next minute I was reaching up for dear life. Without thinking, I immediately reached straight up and was able to grab the cable. I knew right away I was alive to see another day. I gave Glenn a thumbs up and he headed back to get his vehicle to help pick me up. I was never able to touch the bottom of the river until I made it to the bank. It turns out the cable was there for the machine to dredge sand out of the river. Right now, I'm trying to get the GoPro removed from my foot. The lines are tangled around the mount and this really took about five minutes to get free. If I wouldn't have had the steel cable to hold me up, it could have been bad. Before I began flying that evening, I'd undone four out of my five buckles just in case something were to happen. During this crash, I went down with several items. My cell phone, camera, Bluetooth, and GoPro. Alright guys, live footage of the river landing. Woo! Got the phone, the camera, soaking wet. DTR, soaking wet. I'm going to attempt to swim over to the bank. This big contraption over here. I've got to get my right foot out first. Both feet are clear. I just got my feet out of the glider so that way I could swim to the dredger. The whole time swimming over, it was over my head. I was using the cable to pull myself along while trying to keep my cell phone and camera up in the air. Alright, luckily there is a steel cable here holding my motor. At this point, I'm just swimming along, trying to get to the dredger. The water is actually starting to feel fabulous on this Friday afternoon in June. If I can get in there, pull myself over. Baby up. Hey. Yeah. I don't know if I'll get that figured out. My idea of starting the dredger and taking it across the river didn't work. Daylight was fading and I had no idea how to start that thing. Plan B was to swim to the bank and get the John boat to retrieve my gear. The boat was filthy and I had a flathead shovel for a paddle. In the midst of this, the battery on my GoPro died. It took me about an hour to get my gear out of the water. I then had to hike out a mile out of the cornfield to the closest house where I was able to pay a gentleman $20 for a ride back to my truck. Alright, we have retrieved the motor, cell phone, and camera from the river. We're in 
this cornfield next to a power line. And now we must go back 